Wild Grand YouTube. Thanks for tuning in. It's Damien from Carter Creative Hair Studio in Manchester. And today we've got the unboxing of the Pro Foil Lithium Plus by Andis. We've got the Titanium Foil Shaver. So I've brought this one to show you what I was using. It's time for an upgrade. The only thing that I really don't like about this is the fact that you don't uh, get a charging stand where with this one, we've now got the premium charging stand included. So we've got lithium iron power, which delivers apparently up to 80 minutes of runtime on a single charge. We've got the staggered head shaving blades for a closer shave. I actually like this. I actually prefer how they have the staggered level heads because uh, you can just single out one blade and get into those little nuts and crannies or under the nose or around the ears or so yeah really like that should definitely be included on all trimmers that should be standard that basically it looks like the old one only difference being that i can see so far are minor upgrades uh color you know black and it seems to have this uh, grippy thing going on on the sides which we'll get into once we get unboxed the rotary motor for that continuous power and you can have it cord or cordless best for removing stubble and finishing fades which is what i tend to use it for in the box it's saying we get stand different plugs a little cleaning brush foil guard and the charging adapter we've got the gold titanium hypoallergenic foil for irritation free shaving. Let's get on with the unboxing. It's got the usual box. I'm a hands on guy, so I like to just get straight in. Probably won't need that. And then we've got the goodies. So we've got the shaver. We've got the plug adapters. the actual charging adapter which can be used if you run out of power you can just plug that straight in and carry on doing your thing the reason i've gone for this upgrade mainly is because of this this is what's going to make the difference does it fit i can hear you asking that question we'll see no straight away i can tell um the charging port on the older unit is off to the side and it's slap bang in the middle on this so no it won't fit to the main attraction also got your little shaving brush there as well and your guard shaving guard so in terms of looks and feel it feels pretty much identical to the old one in terms of size pretty much the same new one being a little bit taller just a little bit taller in terms of weight this feels a little bit heavier but yeah nothing drastic like just a little bit heavier guessing it's got more plastic on there more rubber on there feels a bit more grippier this didn't feel uncomfortable at all but i suppose just to give you that little design change they've had to throw these black plastic bits on or rubberized bits it doesn't feel like rubber it does feel like, feels like plastic like a, a a grippy plastic this feels like smooth plastic this feels like like a like a grippier kind of plastic it doesn't feel like spongy in any kind of way that's what we're dealing with on the new model against the old model. Pretty much the same in terms of the shaving foil size. Yeah, it looks pretty much the same. Whether they've changed the actual design of the foil head, I don't know yet until I start using it. Uh, but it looks the same, it looks the same. Only difference I think so far is this from what I can see anyway, from what I can see. So, what we've got on the back. TS1, we've got the TS2. Both still made in China. Looks pretty much identical to me, other than that. At the bottom, we've uh, had a change of um, location for the charging port now centralized and it was off to the side on the old version so yeah back onto this one nice clicky 
um, power button um, in a nice location as well, right in the middle. No accidental turn offs and turn ons and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, pretty much the same. Actually sounds quieter. Um, but I have had this one for a couple of years now. So maybe this one after a bit of time might start to sound like this. I don't know. <laughs> we'll, we'll have to wait and see, but it does feel quieter. Sounds quieter as well. Doesn't feel as, uh, the vibrations don't feel as, uh, as heavy in the hand as this one. So it looks in the stand. Easy just to lift it out and drop it in. Nice and easy. I like that, I like that a lot. Like that, yeah, it's gonna look good with my uh, collection. Which I'll do another video one to show you what I'm using. Drop me a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe. Let me know if you wanna see that. Let me know if you want to see a review on this as well. Just want to just do a quick unboxing just to show you what this one looked like. Purchased on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. Um, there's my plug for the UK, which just slides on like that. Good to go. And then this, I'm just clicking to the bottom here. And then that can just live on my station with the rest of my tools. Then do my thing, quick fading, shaving. When I'm finished, throw it back on there. I'll plug it in, let you know what's the deal with the lights. This is what else is in this bag. Different connectors for different parts of the world, which I won't be needing anyway. So I'm going to get this plugged in. I'll be back in a second. Plugged in, the cable is long, I like that. At least a couple of meters there. So yeah, we've got that plugged in. Like I said, this can just live on the on my workstation and I can just lift off, do my thing, put it back in. The light goes red once it's charging. And with this one, when you turn it on, the light also goes green, which is good. I like that, I like that. And then when you're finished, Light goes off, put it back in its charging base, it goes red. With the old one, the light did not come on at all. The light only came on when you plugged it into charge. With this, I'm guessing once the batteries starting to deplete, I'm hoping anyway that uh, again, once I get a full review and I start using this, get accustomed to uh, what it can do, I'll let you know. But yeah, I like that. Little charging light when you put it on its base. Little green light when you start using it. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Just a quick look at the blades. So to access, press this button on the side here and lift off the cover. Got your two brand new sharp blades in there. These interchangeable guessing it's just the same blades that you can buy for the TS1 guessing it's just the same these just click on and click off nice and easy to clean nice and easy to remove same again with the foil head guessing it's just the same one for the TS1 that just clicks on on one side first and then clicks back on the other and you're good to go quick unboxing of the Andis TS2 Profile Lithium Plus. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, comment below if you want to see a review on this. Damien from Carter Creative Hair Studio. I'm out. Thanks. Peace.